Hello inhabitants of Pal World and welcome to today's video. So this one is going to be a build along video. So we're going to be building this large stone fortress. It is big enough for you to have large pals working inside there. Lots of space between all of your production lines, but also quite aesthetically pleasing hopefully. Now this one I've built myself, so hopefully you enjoy it. It's my first time doing a really big build like this. Usually the Dino Lord does this sort of stuff. So hopefully you enjoy it. It's located at 135, 448. And without further ado, let's get building. So first of all, you're going to want to lay down some foundations. I've started that side. I'm going to mirror it on the other side and show you how I did it. So the foundation so far is 10 by 6. This will get bigger later on. But for now, this is what we're going to work with. Obviously, we've got those four coming out the front there as well. So once you've got your 10 by 6, you're going to want to get some stone foundations and lay them on the corners at the front of the building, just like I'm doing here. And then we're going to pop some walls in between these two areas, like so. Pop another wall down here on the other side. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. We'll remove that one in a bit. Then we're going to put some walls going around all of this square that I've got at the side here. We're then going to add a ceiling. And then we're going to use door frames because they add a little bit of detail instead of having it as stone, just like block stone. I feel like they just make it look a little bit better. So we're going to add some of those to the second layer. And on the tower, we're going to do window walls. We're going to go up two layers of window walls here. And then we're going to add our tower top. So we're going to get our triangles. And we're going to make them into a peak at the front and back of the tower. And then we're probably going to have to climb up for this. So we're probably going to have to add some ceilings up here before we can get the slanted roofs on. Because sometimes they're a bit finicky. And we may need to add some walls in the middle here. Sometimes they'll snap without it. Sometimes they won't. So once we get it in the right position, we can press right button. We're playing on Xbox, by the way. So right button on the controller if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, and that will rotate it, and we can get it into the right direction. And there we go. There's the front tower done. So you just want to mirror that on the other side, like what I've done here. And it's starting to take shape already. So we're going to be building up the entranceway a little bit here, and I do go and edit this a little bit later and just make a couple of changes because I wasn't too happy with it. But this is what we've got for now. And you will see a door in the next part of the video, but we're completely moving that. So just ignore that the door is even there, if you will. And for now, we'll just build this bit. But continuing on with the inside of the build, we're going to put a door frame down here, followed by a wall above it. And then we're going to pop a triangle on top of that. Okay, now we're going to climb up because we want to put some floors down here. Ceilings, they look like floors, so I'm calling them floors, but yeah, ceilings they are. We're going to put these all the way along here. We're going to put walls along the inner part of the building, and then we're going to get our sloped roofs and place them on here. And this is what they'll look like. So this is what it looks like from inside now. And with the towers, I wanted to make them into rooms, so I've added a staircase and a door to this inner wall here. And then if we look inside, you see I've changed that window to a solid wall. Now in order to do this, you have to actually demolish the window wall that was there. And then instead of replacing it straight away with the solid wall, you can't because there is a slope there. So in order to have a slope, you have to have the wall down first, and then put the slope. So we're going to climb out after demolishing the sloped roof, pop a wall down and then put the sloped roof back. And we are good. And we've got a nice spacious room there to work with a bit later on. Right, now we're going to add some ceilings, some flat ceilings into here and some stairs. And then we're going to add a big giant door on the inside of the building. And then out here, I'm going to demolish what I did earlier. And we are going to put some triangles followed by some staircases. And there'll be two flat floors at the bottom and it will look like this. Okay, so we're going to now extend the back of the base out by one. So I've just done that. I've put one more line of foundations out at the back end over here. And now we're going to place one stone foundation on each side of the back corner, just like this. And then we're going to build up a couple of towers. So we're going to start with some stone walls at the bottom. 
And then we're going to go up with windows just on the two outer walls here. And then we're going to fill the rest in with some regular stone walls. And then it should look like this. So let's climb up so we can continue. Add some more stone walls here and here. And then once we're at the top, we're going to have to put down a floor, a ceiling, a ceiling. There we go. Another wall here and here. And then we're going to pop some down there as well. And another ceiling there. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to add a stone wall, two window walls and another stone wall up here. And then add another floor there. And here. Uh, ignore these triangles, these were stuff I was playing with earlier, so we're going to get rid of those. So we're going to add a wall here, and then we're going to get our triangles. And we're going to put them this way. One there and one there. One here. And I practiced this, you may see it out of the corner, I practiced this on the floor outside to try and get it right. And this is how you want it to look. So now we're going to have to put some ceilings down in order to get our sloped roofs on. There's one, two, one more to go. There we go. And then we'll pop a flat ceiling at the very top. Like that. Okay, and now this is how it should look. And repeat those steps on the other side so that they match. And then if we look from inside the building, this is what you'll see. I'm not happy with these two window walls, so I want to change those into doors. And then we're going to add an extra one, so another stone wall, two doorways, and then we want another triangle at the top here. There we go. And this is what it'll look like when you've done both sides. So let's continue on with this side of the building. We're going to climb up to here and add a ceiling. And then once we're up at the top, we're going to add another triangle here and a sloped roof. So I'm using wood sloped roofs because they just add a bit of colour and they make it look a little bit nicer than just being all in stone. And then we're going to repeat those steps on the other side. Sweet. We're getting somewhere with the back end of the building now. So let's build this up on the inside of the building with some flat stone walls. There we go. Once again, we do the same thing on the other side. Now I've built out the back entrance way, so I've just put four foundations and then another two coming out even further. We're going to build this up too high with walls and then we're going to add a triangle at the top of each one. Then we're going to add some doorways, either side like that, and then some walls on the inside, followed by some triangles. We then want to climb up and pop a floor down there, followed by a wall and then a slanted roof. And the same on the other side. And on the other side, it didn't need a ceiling and a wall to work for some reason. I don't know why, but that worked anyway. Now we need to put a giant door in, so we're going to put that on the inner side of the building. There we go. And the next thing to do is to fill this bit in over the top of the door. So we're going to put some ceilings down. Put some walls. Just get rid of these triangles. And then we can put some slanted roofs going across here. Now we want to build up this middle bit that's going between the two slopes either side. So we're going to put some ceilings down, followed by some doorways. We want the doors to be a two wide, so I'm just going to remove this one because that's the inner part. And we can place all the doorways down. Now I'm going to want some triangles here because I'd like a peek at the top. Pop this other doorway down, followed by a triangle, and then we can put the roofs on. Is he going to let us, or do we need to put a floor? Yay! Let's see how that looks. There we go. 
So there's the back end of your building done. But I feel like something's missing. So I feel like either side of that tower is a little bare. So we're gonna go and put these Anubis statues either side. And then we'll see how that looks. And I think that looks quite cool. I know it's a bit dark at the moment, so you can't see properly, but, but that's what it should look like at this point. Right, so from here, we're going to add some things to these little indents in the side at the back of the fortress. So we're going to get some stone foundations, and then we're going to add a couple of roofs at the top. And I think that just makes it look a little bit better. And then if we come inside, I just want to replace that window with a flat stone wall, and the same on this side here. And then we're going to add some walls here and a doorway in the middle. Then we're going to do doorways all along the second layer. Then we're going to add some ceilings going all the way along here. With some walls and some slanted roofs. And here's how it looks. Now we're going to fill this bit in. I'm just going to put a doorway and a wall for now. But we are going to be changing that later. And then once you've done the same on the other side, this is how the building will look from inside. If we come to the outside of the side of the building, we're going to add some decking filling in this area here. And then we're going to remove the doorways and replace them with walls. Now we're going to add a wooden door either side of the stone door and put some slanted wooden roofs just here in two peaks. So we've got two little outdoor rooms here. Now we're on the top of the building here, just above the two little rooms that we just made. And we need to do something about this because I just think it looks too block stone and I don't like it. So we're going to remove these two roofs and we're going to add a wall, put that roof back, add a doorway, another doorway, and then we're going to put a triangle at the top. And then we're going to bring this up and do the same as the other side. Add a wall there and pop a roof on top. I just thought it looked just too much stone. There was just too much stone there. It looked ridiculous. I didn't like it. It was too uh, boring. So I think it looks a bit better with a tower there now. So of course we've got to go over to the other side and do the same thing here too. So as you may have noticed, we don't plan our builds in advance, we don't sketch them out or anything, we just build it as we go. And so sometimes we'll have to go back, demolish things and replace them with other things. So, but a lot of people have been asking for build tutorials for our builds, so I figured I would do one for you and hopefully it's kind of cohesive. I am sorry that we do have to demolish a lot of things and then replace them, but that's just the way we build unfortunately and that's why I've been reluctant to do a build video until now. Like I said, hopefully this is easy enough to follow and fingers crossed it is. So again, I didn't like those doorways, so I've changed them and made them into stone walls, and I think that looks a lot better. So over the other side we go and do the same. And then I'd like to fill out this bit because it looks a bit flimsy, so we're going to put a ceiling and then a wall up here, and I think it'll just fill it out and make it look a little bit nicer. Let's have a look. Yeah, I prefer that compared to the other side, so we'll do the other side as well. Okay, so now it's just the entranceway that I'm not happy with. It looks a bit bland and I feel like it needs a little something. So first we're going to just fill out the whole area at the front with some decking. So it comes out to the very end of where the uh, stairway floors end. There we go, that looks much better, I think. And now I've built a tower on one side, as you can see, and I quite liked it, so we're going to do the same on the other side, and we're going to add a couple bits to it as well. So we're just going to demolish a bit of this, and then build the tower up. Another one layer, and then we'll pop a triangle at the top. One there, one on the other side, and a sloped roof. There we go, and it should be the same as the other side. Great. And now I want another bit added. Oh, let me just put this roof back first. There we go. 
And now I want to add another smaller tower at the front. This was the Dino Lord's idea. He said it would look quite cool with a smaller tower at the front. And I thought, oh yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We'll climb up and pop this slanted roof on. And then we need to build the same thing on the other side. And once you have, this is what it'll look like. We're going to put some ceilings just above the doorway. And then we're going to add some triangles. One there and one there. And I quite like that. I think it looks kind of like horns. So it's kind of gone a bit more fantasy than medieval. Like a medieval fantasy build, I guess. But I'm quite happy with it. So that's the structure of the fort, fully complete. And we'll take a quick scan around so you can see how it's supposed to look. And obviously you can decorate it however you like. I'll show you around now so you can see how I've decorated mine in case you want maybe some ideas or something. And I'll also show you the larger pals working inside the building as well. So just quickly before we look around the fully decorated fort, I just wanted to show you a couple of bits of structure that I added. So under the stairs here, I've added a couple of doors. I uh, just thought it filled it out a bit and made it look a bit better. And then also over here in the corner, I've just brought this down one and filled it out a bit. I just thought it looked tidier and the same on the other side as well. And here it is fully decorated. So if we go over to the right side at the front of the fort, we've got like the little farming area, which you would usually get outside any old medieval fort. So you'll have like an area that's got crops and stuff growing. So I thought that side would look quite nice for that. And then if we come over to the other side, we've got like a little bar market type area, which I thought looked kind of cool. Just to make it look kind of hustle and bustly, like an RPG game. I love RPG games, and so I like to incorporate that into whenever I decorate a build, just to make it feel a bit more immersive, if that makes sense. And then if we go around the side here, I put like a spa outside here, so I've used the hot spring and a couple of towel racks, and then I've put some laundry bins here and there on top of cupboards and just scattered around, you know? And then in this one, oh, look, I like those little things. I can't remember what it's called. The little carts that you put things on top of. I just thought I didn't get to use it in my last build because I didn't notice it till last minute, but I love it. If we come in here, we've got the toilet. Or the outhouse, because it is outside the house. So it's got all the usual bathroom furniture in here. And I think it looks kind of cozy. And then if we come around the front of the building, in this little nook at the front, I've got a little cafe area. It looks kind of romantic. There's like a table for two and some wine cupboards in the background. And I just thought it looked quite quaint. And then this side over here, I've done the actual kitchen. So this will be where the food is made before they take it over to the romantic little seating area on the other side. I always imagine a story when I do this stuff. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments. And around this side of the building, we've got a library stroke reading room. And then in the last one, we've got a little forge smithy type area. Because you always have one of them in an RPG, don't you? And you have to go there for some sort of quest where you need a sword or you need to learn to make a sword. And I just kind of like that sort of thing. So I thought I'd put it here. So let's go back around the front and then we can go inside the building. Oh yeah, I've put curtains either side of the entranceway as well with some street lamps underneath them. I just thought it kind of gave a bit of atmosphere. And if we come into the main building, we've got, we've rolled out the red carpet. So that's just a load of rugs, which I've rode up to make it look like one long carpet. And you can see we've got our production lines plus two. And the, and the place is so spacious that there's so much room in between them for the pals to be able to work. Because I know a lot of people like to see the animation of the pals working and stuff. So this lends itself really well to that. If we come over here, as you've seen, we have our generator underneath here. Oh, it's a bit low, so I might have to get a pal out quick just to um, keep this powered. There we go. So under here, we've got some pal bedrooms. So I wanted them to have their own individual bedroom. So that is what we've gone for here. And up the top, we've got another couple here as well. And then there's more pal bedrooms here and they kind of look like bunk beds, I think, because I didn't know where I wanted to put the pal beds. And Dino Lord said, why don't you put them on that back wall and make them look like bunk beds? 
So I kind of think they do, but posh bunk beds, you know? And then under here, we've got a very posh room. So these are the big pal beds and they're so expensive and so posh, but they're massive, yeah? So, and also it's in a one high, so you, the larger ones can't actually get to these. Yeah. We usually find that the little tiny one that works in the ranch that digs out the spheres and the arrows, she's usually in one of those for some reason. She seems tends to like it in there. And if we come up the stairs here, we have got our bedroom. And we were able to put curtains in this one. Yay! Because you could only put curtains on a two high window. So I put lots of two high windows in here so that we could have lots of curtains. And we put all the regular bedroom decor in here. Try to make it a bit cozy, you know? And then if we come over to this side, Oh yeah, look, I found out that you can put, if you put one of those wall shelves up, you can put stuff on top. So I was able to put a regular bookshelf on top of them. I was so pleased with that. And I've done the same on this side with the iron shelf. Uh, this box on the end is where we keep most of our materials because out here is where they seem to do their farming. I did have a logging station in that out here, at the you know, initially, and a quarry. And so they would just put the mats through the wall into that box. It was really handy. So we've got our other production line and we've got more pal bunks there and then we've got our forge in the corner here and because it's kind of high in here the yeoman tide can actually get to it it's really good you can see as soon as i get the pal metal to cook he finds his way in heads on over and gets to work we also have our crusher inside that little nook there which looks like a small space but the larger pals can actually get to it to water it it is so cool more bunks for the pals. I've decorated them all different to each other because I feel like they'd have their own personalities. I know the larger pals can't sleep and they just feel comfortable if they've got a bed somewhere, but I wanted them decorated. And we've got another large pal bedroom in here. And up in here, I've done something a bit unusual that I wouldn't usually do, but I thought I wanted to make use of the fun stuff that they had. So I've put the claw machine in with the TV and the soft drinks dispenser. I just thought, yeah, you've got to have a bit of fun with it, haven't you? I did try the frog chair, but I did not like it. I did not like the frog chair, so I've had to take that away. It was a bit much, a bit too silly for me. But I thought they, they deserve to have somewhere to hang out. They don't really come in here, but in my mind, they come in here, they relax, they have a drink, they play on the claw machine, they watch TV and they have a great time, you know? I know it's not very medieval-y or fortress-y, but I had to do it. So that's the fortress fully decorated as we've done it. And like I said, it's fully functional. You can get large pals in here doing bits. You can get your assembly line going at the same time. It works really, really well for us. So hopefully it'll work well for you too. I'll just show you that they can fit between the assembly lines on the other side as well. While they're making stuff. So it's really, really handy. Also, I was messing about in here at one point as well and I was just doing some breeding and stuff. So I like uh, popped a condenser down here and I was just needed some pearl fragments. So I got the giant boss Yorman tied out and he even worked in here as well. So hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, maybe leave a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're not already. And let me know if you guys decide that you might want to build this. We'll take a panoramic view of the whole building now from the outside and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day and take care.